Check this out. Huh? For fuck's sake, man. Welcome back to Film Gob, everyone. It's Shaker here, and it's time to catch up with what's happening on and off screen in the world of movies. Let's check it out. Looks like Ray Fisher is not backing down in his fight for accountability. And uh, last night he fired shots at Jeff Johns. Let's see what he said in his tweet. During the LA reshoots for Justice League, Jeff Johns summoned me to his office to belittle and admonish my and my agent's attempts to take grievances up the proper chain of command. He then made a thinly veiled threat to my career. This behaviour cannot continue. Accountability is greater than entertainment. So we stand by Ray Fisher, of course, and uh, we're still waiting on other cast members to come forward. But it's a tricky situation and uh, it might take a little bit of time. Now the DC Comics writer, he's still planning to attend the DC Fandom or he's recorded his segment for the DC Fandom event. His name is still on the guest list. But like I say, all we can do is support Ray Fisher. He's been uh, making a lot of noise about you know how he was treated on the set of Justice League after the departure of his friend Zack Snyder. And speaking of Zack Snyder, dropped this image. So this is Zack's original design for Steppenwolf. Such a beastly pose. I love it. Oh, I thought it could be a, a really good music album cover. Industrial metal type kind of album, you know, Steppenwolf, Dark Side of the Boom. Zack also posted this working with Stefan down at CO3, getting ready for DC Fandom and AT&T. They retweeted it. They said, 10 days until DC Fandom, 10 days until we get to watch a teaser for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now, is that a confirmation that yes, this is what the film is going to be called, Zack Snyder's Justice League? Because I know Zack said at Justice Con that you know there's some uh, you know legal issues surrounding the name of the film, but AT&T maybe has just confirmed it. That's what the title is going to be. But we wait and see. And finally, Tenet Fever grips the UK, claiming over half of ticket sales for View Cinema chain. Yes, the film comes out later this month. I'm going to get my ticket right now for European cinema giant View, which opened ticket sales for Tenet at midnight on Tuesday. The film so far accounts for 60% of tickets sold in the UK on Wednesday. View CEO Tim Richards tells Variety that those numbers are only bound to get bigger. Now that's all the news I have for you today, but Shorty and Randall Powers would like to have a word with you, so I'll hand it off to them. Here, man. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't have anything to say to you. It's Randall Powers who wants to talk about the memberships. Don't know what you're talking about. Dun, 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 dun. By becoming a member of this channel, you shall receive a loyalty badge next to your name, the ability to use chat emojis of film gob universe villains, and access to member-only content such as rotten review extended cuts. Love those rotten reviews. <laughs> Oh, click like because you know I'm right. Let me know in the comments below. If you care, then you can share. And you smash that mother fucking subscribe button. And also enable all notifications so you know when I upload a new video. But until next time, in knuckleheads. I'm Shorty. And you're not. Ta ta. Mwah.